Hello, 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 and welcome to episode five of What's in the Fridge. So on this episode, I'm actually going to take a previous pasta dish and I'm going to expand it a little bit. I'm gonna add a couple little things to it and kind of make a homemade Alfredo type sauce. So what I'm going to do, because I actually have this shrimp seafood pasta that I made the other day and I had it in the freezer so I guess I made it probably about a week or two ago. So it's got shrimp and bacon and spinach and green onions and then orange pepper. And I actually just did it in like a garlic butter um, type sauce with salt and pepper. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that I have half an avocado that I wanted to add, a little bit of mozzarella cheese, just to add a little bit of creamy cheesiness. So have some sour cream, some mayonnaise, and some Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna use a little bit of coconut milk to create that sauce a little bit, but not make it too runny. Let's get started. So I have my saucepan. This is a cast iron. So I've already got it all greased up. I'm gonna turn my oven, my oven. <laughs> I'm gonna turn my stove to between a four and a five. You know your cooktop you want it on kind of that like medium heat because we are reheating. You don't want it to be too hot, but at the same time, you don't want it to be too cold either. So, or too low. So we're gonna do that, and I'm just going to make all of the messes as I shake this. I'm also going to add a tomato. I'm gonna cut a tomato up. Got that. So we're gonna put that on there. Let that start to warm. I'll bring you over here. And so we have this tomato that I wanted to cut up. It's got, it's a little bit, it's decently ripe, but it is gonna have to get used. <clears throat> now you can also, I had contemplated adding some sriracha to my sauce so that it would give it a little bit of that kick, but I don't think I'm going to. So to cut my tomato, I'm just gonna cut off the top. And then I actually really like to, I cut down into the tomato. Then I'm going to lay it on its side as I cut down. And this is going to like cube it while making it a little bit easier to cut. Off the last little bit. Just like that, all of your tomatoes are diced. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my avocado. So I'm just using half an avocado. I'm gonna pull out the pit. And then I'm going to cube my avocado as well. Now I'm gonna add my avocado in closer to the end because otherwise it can go a little bit brown when it cooks. I'm not gonna need to add a lot. I mean, it is, I am still just one person, so that's why, I mean, I've got the one tomato, because, to be honest, I just kinda like tomatoes, so I'm gonna add the tomato. I'm going 
Speak negative about yourself, even as a joke. Your body doesn't know the difference. Words are energy. Change the way you speak about yourself, and you can change your life. Fettuccine pasta. And I mean, you can use any pasta, you can use any type of protein or meat. I used shrimp and bacon because my body processes those really well. And so it is literally, yeah, the previous meal was honestly fettuccine pasta, butter, garlic, salt, and pepper, and then. Spinach and peppers, green onions with the shrimp and bacon. I fried it all up. I cooked the bacon first. Nope, actually, I fried the bacon in the pan and then added the shrimp. So, even with like the great bacon grease and everything like that, it, I kept it all in the pan. And then this time we just added to it. So, as you can see, it is. Just gave it a couple minutes so that those avocados can warm up a little bit, but they're not going to cook so much that they then kind of almost look fine. We are just about ready to plate and stick it in a bowl. I'm excited. I'm literally just going to eat this and not having anything else with it. Can you see it? All right. So, we've given it a few minutes. And I am just going to now scoop. Try to find strength to try again. 
if you wanted, you could even add extra, like I said, you could add extra pasta. Um, you could even add more liquid to it and then create lots of little mini soups if you wanted to. There's a lot of different things that you can do, but even with the little bit that we did to extend it, it would be great for two people or you have a meal tonight and then you just created a lunch for tomorrow. So, love it. I mean, I definitely wouldn't put it back in the freezer, but I'm super excited and it's delicious.